The components required for this experiment are Node MC board, LCD display, I2C converter, MAX 30100 sensor, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, DST11 sensor, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the bling.cloud website. Then go to developer zone. Here click on new template and give the template name. Patient health monitoring is the template name and the hardware we are using is ESP8266 and select the connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the run button. Now go to data streams. Here we need to create four data stream. Let's create the first one. Click new data stream, select virtual pin. And the first one, the name of the data stream is BPM, beats per minute. If you want, you can change this color and select the pin as V1, data type as double and select the maximum value as 150. Click on the create button. Now create the second one, again go to new data stream, select virtual pin. Here the name is SPO2, which is to calculate the oxygen level. Here select the pin as V2. Data type as double and the maximum value as 150. Click on the create button. Now the third one again go to new data stream, select virtual pin. Here we can give the name as temperature. And here select the pin as V3, data type as double and the maximum value as 100. And click on the create button. Now the final one again go to new data stream, select virtual pin and this one is for humidity. Select the pin as V4, data type as double and the maximum value is 150. And click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag 4 gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the first gauge. Select the data stream as BPM and click on the save button. Now go to the settings of the second gauge. This one is for SPO2. Select SPO2 and click save. Now go to the settings of the third one. This is for temperature. Click on save. Now the final one again go to settings and this is for humidity. Click on the save button. Now save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created patient health monitoring. Now click on the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Copy this and paste in our program. And then we need to install the Blink and Liquid Crystal library. Also we need to install the DHT library. Now enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Now upload the program to the Node MC board. For that go to this drop down. Here the port is already selected. Select the port and select the board as Node MC 1.0. Select that and click on the OK button. Now click this arrow button and upload the program.
Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template. Go to settings. Click the plus icon from the bottom. Here also we need to add 4 gauge widget. Now select the first gauge. Here choose the data stream as BPM. Go to design and give the same title. BPM. Now go back. Now click the second gauge. So here choose the data stream as SPO2. Go to design. Also give the same name here also. SPO2. Now go back. Now click the third gauge. So this is for temperature. So choose the data stream as temperature. Go to design. Here also give the title as temperature. Now go back. Now click the final gauge. This is for humidity. Choose the data stream as humidity and give the same title, humidity. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.